Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Hobo and his girlfriend wrestling po wrestling YouTube show. My name is Hobo Tom. On the cell phone speaker, say hi to, well, hi to everyone, my most beautiful and lovely and, and bestest girlfriend ever. Heather? Hi. Oh, there she is. Yeah, there's always a little time delay. My name is Hobo Tom. And next, you're going next for the next set of predictions. You're actually going to see Doctor Tom come in, and he discusses a little bit of math and stuff. But we're going to do some fun stuff for a change. We're going to talk about NXT, and NXT is a lot different because they don't really have anyone stand tall and stuff. So there's no math or any wonky stuff involved. So you actually might remember it because a couple of these people, because you know who one of my favorite wrestlers is in NXT, sweetie. Adam Cole, baby! I know. So, let's talk about this card. Um, it's going to be a really quick video. So, again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you do comment or even leave an email or subscribe, you get a little special video clip in your honor. I think the past week... Well, today I spent making a couple of gifts, and I'd like to put those up for people, especially if they are nice enough to subscribe. It helps me out, it makes me know that, that people actually watch this, which is a good thing. So, Heather, are you ready to talk about some NXT? 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 I guess so. Okay, so probably in, in probably the undercard. Because I think this is the only match that doesn't have any title stipulations. Wow. That's going to be the Velveteen Dream. And you know him because he winked at you when he went to that one show. I almost got kicked out of the event because I wanted to punch him in the nose. Remember him? I uh, think so. Good. Versus Ethan Carter the Third. E C three. So this should probably actually be really entertaining. There's no really stakes involved involved in this. Um, I'm gonna say Ethan Carter the third. How about you, Heather? I'll go the first one. Dare choose the Velveteen Dream, the guy that winked at my sweetie. I'm gonna bite his nose off out of my fear of security when the only reason why I didn't do that. Er. And then, again, I have no idea what, what order this is going to be in or if they're going to add anything new. I don't think they are. I know TakeOver is going to be relatively short in compared to other pay-per-views. Then we have Kyrie Singh versus Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. I think this is going to be the time that Shayna Baszler drops the title. And then she's going to be part of the four MMA horsewomen thing. I'm going to say Kairi Sane. Then I remember Kairi Sane when she wrestled in Japan. How about you, Heather? I'll go to the second one. Shayna Baszler. Ooh, okay. You know what we're going to have to do eventually one day, sweetie? What? We're going to have to have either reward or punishment to this. Like, like, the, like the winner of prediction like has to buy lunch. Or, or like the loser of prediction has to be like the other person's like butler or maid or something. How does that sound? We'll have to discuss it. So then moving on in the card, we have the match for the U.S. Championship and probably one of the greatest wrestlers ever, Ricochet versus, you know who, sweetie? Who? Adam Cole, baby! I don't know. So, I think Adam Cole's gonna lose that title, I think. Ricochet's that darn good. Adam Cole, he, he can deserve, he can, he can eat a few losses. I mean, he doesn't make the, the title, the title doesn't make Adam Cole. Adam Cole makes Adam Cole, baby! But the title could make Ricochet a little bit bigger. 
So I say it's going to be Ricochet. How about you, sweetie? I'll say the same thing as you. Ricochet. And then for the NXT Tag Team Champions of the World, the Undisputed Era. I think I got that right, too. Versus Mustache Mountain. Who do you say is going to win? I'll say the first one. The Undisputed Era. You have to throw up, throw up the hand signs too. That's some, that's some very bad Jimi Hendrix when you're supposed to laugh. And then for the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger. Johnny Wrestling Gargano and the champion, the Sicilian Psycho Killer, Tommaso Bomae Ciampa. So this is for the NXT. Champ, have you the NXT? I don't think it's called heavyweight. I think it's just the NXT Championship. This is going to be an interesting event. And before I start to ramble on, sweetie, who are you going to pick? The challenger or the champion? Heather. Um. How about the first one? They're going to choose the champion. The Sicilian psycho killer, Tommaso Bomae Ciampa. I think something interesting is going to happen in the fact that this is going to be the very classic near literary match where Johnny Gargano wins, but in doing so loses his humanity. Because remember, Tommaso Ciampa's beat him up. He took off his redding, redding wing. He's he said bad things about himself and his and his marriage to Candice LeRae. And I think Johnny Gargano is going to turn to the dark side. He's not going to be nice, fun, happy, baby face Gar Johnny Wrestling anymore. He's going to be the evil Johnny Gargano. And I think he's going to win the champion, but in doing so, cost him his humanity. He, instead of being the good face, he's going to be, he's going to turn heel. And I hope, maybe just to make a really good, interesting story out of it, that he even turns on his wife, Candice LeRae. And this would lead again to the classic redemption story of Johnny Gargano, where for the takeover for Survivor Series, I think it's the next big takeover, where he finally regains his humanity, loses the belt, and then goes to Maine or, or 205 Live. So, so how does that sound as a, as a literary point, sweetie? Sounds good. Yes. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the SummerSlam previews with Dr. Tom and my most illustrious, lovely, amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, kind-hearted, hard-working girlfriend, Heather. What was that, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, because you are the most amazing thing in my life, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, goodbye, everyone.